Welcome to the Rocking Horse Dreams. Today we are going to take a look at Cartagena, a game for 2-5 players by Leo Colavini, with art by many, many people and produced by as many companies. I have the Rio Grande version. It should play in about 30 minutes. In the game, players play as pirate captains trying to break their crew out of the jail in the fortress of Cartagena. There are two ways to play the game, the Jamaica version, which is easier and more luck-based, and the Tortuga version, which is more tactical. For the Jamaica version, players' hands remain private, and the draw deck is face down. The Tortuga version has players playing with open hands, and the next 12 draw cards being open knowledge. Inside the box you get an instruction booklet, a play example, six modular board pieces, an escape boat, 103 cards, 17 each of the six suits and one arrow card, and six pirates in each of the five colors. To set up the game, first construct the board however you see fit. Like this, or like this, or like this, but not like this. Place the escape boat at one end of the board, this will be the end. Each player receives the pirates of their color and places them at the opposite end of the board, then the boat, and this will be the start. Set aside the arrow card, shuffle the remaining cards, and deal six to each pirate captain. If playing the Jamaica version, place the remaining cards in a face-down draw deck. If playing the Tortuga version, deal 12 cards face up in a row and place the arrow card so that the arrow is facing the last card drawn. This is the order in which the cards will be picked up. Once these 12 cards are all picked up, 12 new cards come out. With either version, play goes like this. On a player's turn, they may take 1-3 to three actions to do any combination of two things. They may either play a card moving one of their pirates of their choosing forward to the next open space of that symbol, or move backward onto the nearest occupied space to draw new cards. If there is one pirate on the space, they draw one card. If there are two, they draw two. If there are three pirates there, they must move back farther to the next space with one or two pirates on it. No space may hold more than three pirates. If playing the Jamaica version, cards drawn come from the face-down draw deck. If playing the Tortuga version, draw from the row of cards in the order in which they were laid down. So, on a player's turn, they may take up to three actions, either playing a card to advance, or going backward to gain more cards. Let's take a look at a few sample turns. The yellow player here wants to play a hat card. If they were to bring a new pirate onto the board, they would end up on the very first space. However, if they move a pirate further along, they can make more progress as one hat in the middle of the board is already occupied. They skip over the occupied hat and go to the next open hat. Yellow then plays a key card and brings a new pirate in onto the first open key space, which is rather far along. Now they want to get another card. If they were to move their forwardmost pirate backward to the first occupied space, they would end up here. This would allow them to get a card, but it would also leave the possibility of blue moving backward and gaining two cards. If they instead move their other pirate backward, it blocks the blue pirate from getting two cards. But next it's Green's turn. They also play a key card sneaking into the just vacated space. They can then move that pirate backward and gain two cards. They play the hat card they just gained, sending another pirate forward. If there are no open spaces of the symbol you played for your pirate to move onto before the boat, that pirate goes onto the boat. Play continues like this, players leapfrogging each other, moving forward and backward until one captain has his entire crew on an escape boat. That captain is the winner. And that is Cartagena. It's a fun, light, tactical little race game. It's a constant tug of rope trying to advance yourself, while not allowing huge leaps ahead by your opponents. I enjoy it for what it is, however I have a hard time getting it to the table. Gamers feel like it will be too light, and non-gamers just aren't interested. I do bring it out from time to time at family game nights to play with my five-year-old as it's something he enjoys. We play with each player using only five pirates and one less track piece to make the game shorter so he doesn't lose interest. I give it a 7 out of 10.